Alrighty guys, what's going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Back again with Peanut. You gonna clap? Yes. For another episode. Uh, today's a little bit different. I'm actually gonna be reviewing and showcasing the Scoreholio app. Really, really cool. And, and I'm gonna play a, uh, a deck of game for you and just kind of show you how it works. It's a really awesome system. I like it a lot. Uh, but before we get into that, I do have a Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Uh, if you support me there, I do giveaways and all that stuff. I buy bags that you guys want to see reviewed and then I review them and then give them right back to you. So pretty cool. And then, uh, this episode is sponsored by black sheep baggers, black sheep in the description below apparel jerseys, you know, they got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, they got boards, they have awesome bags. You know how I feel about the bags. Of course, my AC wants to kick on, you know, how I feel about the bags and just the best customer service out there. They're awesome, awesome guys. So let's get into Scoreholio. Uh, Benjamin, Mr. Boodoo, I believe. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Ben. Uh, he reached out to me and asked if I'd like to uh, review it for him. And I said, you know what? Absolutely. Kylie, be careful. I said, absolutely. That sounds awesome. Um, I would love to do that. Sorry, guys, I didn't want to get soaked. I'd love to do that for you. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some rounds and I'm just going to show you you know, how it looks on my screen, because I know it's difficult to see kind of. So I'm going to be standing behind the <laughs> phone here and showing you guys how it is. So there's your profile. You know, there's your uh, home screen. I'm sorry. So basically, if you want to go and play, you know, against somebody, you hit free play. There's your score. You can flip the scores. You can change colors. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to go back there. And you can do this on your phone, your iPad, computer, whatever. Um, so I am going to do player profile. Go here. There's your profile for your scanning and stuff. Your profile tells you who you've played, you know, what your win percentage is, uh, your global rank, your wins, losses, total points, stuff like that for anyone who uses Scoreholio. Um, rankings tab is just, you know, global rankings on people's SPRs. And that's basically just how good you are. And then practice mode is where I'm going to be. So on the left side, you have Ghost Holio. On the right side, you have Decaholio. So Ghost Holio, you can do, you know, you see that my best ghost is 8.06. I played a hard. So easy is one through three, medium is four through uh, six, hard is seven through nine, and then expert is uh, 10, 11, 12. So it just scores one of those three against you, or you can choose just a standard ghost. If you want to play ghost eight, you just choose that, you know, go seven, choose that. Uh, there's also a ghost Ben, which is hilarious because ghost Ben can score anywhere from zero to 12. And sometimes Ghost Ben scores 11s. So ask Ben how he pulls that one off, because I'm not really sure. But I like the DECA. So I go to DECA Holio there. It loads up. Shows you my best rounds, my average, stuff like that. All the rounds I've played. I've played quite a few of them. And I'm going to do it again. But I really like how it says your four baggers, your percent of bags in, your percent of bags on, and then uh, your percent of bags off. So it's really nice, really nice to see kind of where you where you stack up against other people and how well you think you play yourself. So you just click Decaholia there. I'm going to start a new game and there it is. And I'll pull this up every single round to show you unless you can really see it well here, but I kind of doubt it with just the glare of the screen and ah, you can actually see it just fine. So I will pull it closer though, because I really like the system that they use. Cause if you get, um, so you get what a three, a four, a six, a nine, no, maybe not a nine. I'll, I'll pull it up, but there's a hash mark above the number because you could score it two different ways. You know, if you have a six, that could be one in and three on, or it could be two in and two off. So it gives you the option to choose how you scored. So I'm just going to throw a, a quick deck of game here. If I played a ghost, it might take forever. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of going to be rushing through it, just trying to shoot. But I am throwing a WTF Bravos. I'm trying to get used to them. You know, I like the tangos quite a bit. Trying to get used to the brows here a little bit. I will review them at some point. But try to get used to them. And I know it's funny throwing carpet in a DECA. Because carpet you would want to like get around yourself and bounce over and stuff. But I just tend to throw carpet best. So I might as well do that. I'm pretty good so far. Let's see if I can get a little push here for that four bagger. I missed. All right, so I got an eight. So what I do, sorry, I'm kind of getting in the way. Just tap myself there and I show eight. So you see on three, four, and six, it's got that hash mark above it. That'll, that'll show you, you know, different stuff. And so you select three, it'll tell you how many in, how many on. 
you know, because there's different ways you could do it. So I got an eight on that one. So I'm just going to do that. That's two in, two on. Submit that round. So I'm an eight and we're on to round two. And if you guys don't know how a DECA works, uh, basically a DECA is 10 rounds. Hence DECA. 10 rounds, you add up your entire score and uh, it'll give you your average per round and it also gives you your total score you know so it's a good way to seed yourself um if you're zero to 30 you should be like a backyard player if you're 30 to 60 you are um intermediate if you're 60 to 90 you are competitive and if you're 90 to 120 you are obviously an advanced player you know pushing pro so um that's just what it is i like it it just helps you figure out where you sit and of course it doesn't doesn't completely help because, um, you know, the board should not be busy. You're not going around your opponent's bags, but that's okay. Of course, I have to miss one. That's all right, because it still kind of gives you a gauge on consistency, which I do like. Of course, I had to skip around. So I already showed you guys the eight, how I did it before, so I'm just going to do it again. Stand that up so you can see it. Tap it. I got an eight. Submit. Now we're at round three. And it has your running total uh, down below there. So you'll see kind of where you're at. You know, when I get toward the seventh and eighth round, stuff like that, I'm like, okay, what do I need to score to shoot, you know, a 90? I really want to shoot 90. You know, what do I need for that? And it's like, okay, I, I can get away with three tens, you know, whatever it is. Or I need a 12, and then I need to just score tens, whatever. So it's a really nice system. I like it quite a bit. Um, if you are not a paying member, poor bagger, tap it, 12 points, shows you fire, submit. So if you're not a paying member for uh, Scoreholio, I suggest doing it. The uh, paid membership is only $9.99 per year or a dollar per month if you choose to do it that way. Uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, you're paying a buck a month to get all your stats when you're using, you know, someone uses Scoreholio. I play out at uh, a venue, miss that one. I play out at a venue that uses Scoreholio. And, you know, I like being a paid member because I can see exactly what I did. I can see how my SPR went up or down, depending on how short, depending on how I did against certain opponents or how well I shot in a game. Wow, there's four, sick. So I'll show you guys this, but I just really like it. And, you know, for 10 bucks a year, Come on. You know, that's nothing. So I'll show you guys how the four is going to work here. So I got a four. How many were in? How many were on? So I had one in, which means I had one in, one on, two off because they were on the front of the board. I'll submit that round. There we go. So it's a very, very simple thing to use. Um, it was a little windy out here, as you guys can tell. So that's going to start messing with me, but it just started blowing. I don't know if it's trying to blow the storm out or blow a storm in, but I don't like it. Get up. But I just really like the Scoreholio app. It gives you an idea where you're at, where you should be. You know, because a lot of players aren't really sure exactly how well they play. They're like, well, I think I play pretty well, but then I play competitive and I'm getting smoked. Oops. And then I'm like, okay, well, what's your DECA? And they're like, DECA? What's a DECA? I'm like, well, you know, your DECA round. Sneak in. Thank you. I was like, you know, what's your deck around? And they're like, well, I'm not sure. I'm like, okay, throw 10 rounds, add it all up. That's your deck. And they're like, well, I shot like a 62. I'm like, well, that's means you're kind of, you know, borderline intermediate competitive area and you just need to work on consistency. You know, that's why. Maybe play intermediate for a little bit, get used to throwing a lot. Then you can, uh, then you can bump up. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. And try to push it. Oh, that was a pretty decent effort. I'm gonna try to push it again, slide it over. Yes. That was a nice push. I'm gonna pat myself on the back there. And I missed the four bagger. Taking the pat on the back away, because that's no good. No good, no good. But I got a 10, I'll take that. So 10, submit. It's really that easy, guys. I mean, it's like, you just tap it and go. And you can do it on your phone. You know, I do it on my phone quite a bit. Just slide the phone back in your pocket, pull it out after every round. You know, tablet's going to be easier for you guys to see, obviously, because I'm recording on my phone. There's the front board. Gotta love it. Thought it was two of them. 
I want to flop this bag so bad, but I'm going to slide. Slide a miss there. Should have just flopped it. Might have stayed on. So I got a six there. I had two in. So on the six tab, you know, that's one of them that could be one in or two in. So I had two in and two off. There's my six. Submit that. So, you know, this is round eight. So if I want to get to a 90, I'm going to have to four pack here. If I shoot mid 80s like I usually do, you know, that's just kind of three tens. Um, see what I can pull off. Hopefully something special. Not like that. Okay, so I'm going to need a 12 in there somewhere because my best year is a nine. And that's just, it kind of helps you score too. Gives you an idea. Not an idea, but it just gets you used to counting bags in, bags off. Helps you score a little bit. Ah, I got distracted with my daughter. Another six. I'm looking at what she was doing. Pouring water. She's obsessed with pouring water. Another six. Kind of embarrassing, but, you know, we're uh, two in. As we're, uh, as I'm throwing and talking, it's just the way it is. So I would like to have two tens here to get myself into the 80s. That's typically where I land. You know, you saw my best was a 99. I've had a 98, a 99. Haven't touched the 100 yet. Just kind of depends on the day for me. Some days I'm throwing 90s all day long. Some days I'm not. So if I just stop and focus a little bit, I obviously start to throw better. Get up. Thank you. But it just is what it is. Get in. There we go. So there's another four bagger. So I hit my 12 over there. Bye. Uh, submit. So now I really only need to get a six to hit 80. I would obviously like to get more. Um, but, you know, if I get a 12 here, I can shoot an 86. Pretty happy with an 86 typically. Uh, I would like to be in the 90s, obviously. I am a competitive player, but I've decided recently to step up to advance and really challenge myself. So we'll see how that goes next week at the tournament that I'm playing in. Um, I'm excited for it, but just really got to be on my game. And my flop's got to be good. Slide in. Damn. My flop's got to be good. My airmail's got to be on. And my blocks have to be right where they need to be. So, And, and I'm going to try to not even get a six here. That's what I'm going to do because I can almost guarantee I'm going to miss this bag. Get a five or 79. Told you. Told you. I didn't even mean to flop that. So that's how I do things, you know, and and out with 79, so be it. But, there's that wind again. So, you can see it there. I got a five, tap it there, submit round, and submit game. So I'm done. It'll bring up another one, that's okay, but it actually shows you your last couple. You know, I've been in the 70s, the 80s, just kind of depends where I've been. My average is an 8.23. I'm going to play a little more and get that up. So that's really uh, the practice session there. You know, Ghost Holio, obviously, if you want to play Ghost, that's cool too. But I just really like the profile option with uh, all the different people you've played lately, how well you play there. And then uh, if you go to, like, find a tournament, you can find all the tournaments around you. It'll ask you to allow. And that just tells me all the tournaments that are going to be around me coming up here. So it's pretty cool. I really, really like the app. Ben's a super nice guy. And for 10 bucks. You really can't go wrong. So that's about it, guys. Uh, if you like this one, please give me that thumbs up. Subscribe, share it with your buddies. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.